as we know, practice makes perfect. So uh, I'm going to get some practice now before the course opens in the Bago. Mark Zan! What? I know it's you. What We're up to doing? 40 miles an hour in the Bago. It's Chase. Come on! I was asleep. Where's May? We're packing in. I'm on the throne. <laughs> Larson, it's not funny. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Clarkson, you infantile pillock. <laughs> You're tidying that up. <laughs> At nine, the event began, and we immediately bought some hats so we'd blend in. Morning. Then it was time for our safety briefing. On a run, if a car has a problem, they blow up an engine or they catch fire, they turn out to the right, and we know immediately to send the fire So we go right if we have a problem? That's correct. If we go left, spinning wildly out of control, that doesn't mean we haven't had a problem. <laughs> that just means we haven't been able to go to the right. Our challenge was simple, to see what speed we could achieve as we went past the mile marker. I'm not leaving here until I've achieved 170 miles an hour. 150 is my target for that. 150? 160. 50, 60, 70. Right, gentlemen. On a mile-long run on tarmac, our cars would hit those speeds easily, but on salt, that's a very different story. There's a top coat of, you know, tiny crystals. You kind of float over 130, you start floating around a little bit. It slicker, the surface responds differently to the tires. Does it slide about? Sometimes, it depends on how much horsepower you put down. 425, what will happen then? You'll spin out. OK. You'll spin out. Well so what am I going to do at 640 horsepower? You're going to have to be awfully careful. It was time for our first runs. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. They probably think that's a Bon Jovi lyric here. OK, here we go. Come on now, baby. This is your territory. This is what you do. Just a little bit more. Oh, that was a bad start. Bit of snaking, bit of wobble. Come on, car. One more. There we go. Horse is clear. All of us were too slow. 166. 157. 142. That, that's not... No, I know. To reach our targets, we'd have to get the wheel spin off the line exactly right. Every gear change, exactly right. We'd have to get our line in the salt, exactly right. Every bit of the run would have to be perfect. And that's a tall order for us lot. I hit the limiter. No, uh, this is hopeless. 144. 166. 153, ignoring that one. Come on, come on. Oh, no! I missed that! It's going to be worse. No! This is so irritating. Oh, sh 144. 157. Missing the gear cost me three miles an hour. Just doesn't work with the traction control off. That's a complete cock up. No, that was hopeless. I'm going backwards. 144 again. <sighs> In the midst of all this disappointment, though, the little red Corvette achieved something amazing. Well, you got the fastest run we've ever clocked on these clocks. Most people would be pleased to break a record for production cars. Damn, 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 damn. But Jeremy was still shy of his 170 mile an hour target. They call this salt fever when you become so obsessed that you just can think of nothing but going faster and faster and faster. Sod it. Even Captain Slow was infected. Oi! We met James, middle name Q Barger. I like this game. To help us find more speed, Jeremy and I pumped our tyres up. 
while Richard had found an expert who said he should let some air out. If you have too much air in the tyre, the air is actually holding the pressure out on the sidewall, so the tyre can't grow. I'm really pinning my hopes on that guy being one of those sort of mystic gurus of the flats. They exist. Jeremy and I lined up for another run with our tyres bulging at 50 psi. Warning notices all over my dashboard, and I'm ready to rock. Good gear change there. Didn't hit the rev limiter this time. Come on, stretching, stretching, stretching. 162, 164, 165. 169. Half a mile an hour to go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes, 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 yes. 159! Oh, God! I can't do it! It had been close, but no banana for Jeremy and James. So now, watch and learn. That's a much better start. It's gonna work! Come on, challenger! Think of the glory, think of the honour. <laughs> 130. What's that? I can't read it. 139. It was afterwards, when we were making the front of my car more streamlined, that I learned a bit more about my salt guru. How much of your life have you spent on the flats? Salt. This is the first time on the salt. Still, he was pretty good with sellotape, so with my grill sealed over and my tyres pumped up, I set off for another run. Snakey star, snakey star, come on. Oh no, a bit of tape's gone. I can't press the pedal any harder. Come on, come on, keep climbing, keep climbing, keep climbing. Hop, hop. Do you have a knife I can borrow? There you go, challenge it. Breathe! With my tyres pumped up to the point of exploding, I set off after Hammond. Forward into the pages of history. Synchro's getting a bit weak on second. That's 153, four. Come on, stretch it, stretch it. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't expect that, then I've done it. 150.02. What? Just this second, that last run. You've done it? <laughs> I've done it. 150.02. <laughs> what have That's I just the done? Best game. Let's see. 176.549. No. So, could slow make it three out of three? Now, come on. Quick change. Come on, come on, come on. 176 miles an hour. I got my 150 from my Challenger. I've ruined it, obviously. Come on. Please let that be it. Was it a good run? Felt like it. Sir? 163! Yes! yes! <laughs> Do you know what it is? We've all done it! Has Hammond's done, done it? done 150! Fantastic! He's celebrating in the honey bucket! <laughs> Hammond! <laughs> Hammond! What? He did it! What, 160? Yes! 163! <laughs> We've all hit our target! We've Hang all on a done it! We were ambitious and for the first time ever successful! And? We've never been good at anything before! We've been factual!